Hey guys, I'm going to tell you about sunchokes today and their use for people and for rabbits. This is what they look like when they're really little. Uh, it looks and resembles quite a bit like a sunflower, uh, only it comes from a root that resembles a lot like a giant on steroids ginger. I'm not sure what variety I have. I know there are many uh, and in varying colors. I got mine from the local feed store, so I'm sure it's probably the most common variety. It is very invasive. When you plant it, make sure it's in a spot that you're okay if you have sunchokes in that spot for the rest of your life. Can you sit for me? If you have a dog like mine, anything you dig up out of the ground is fair game. Each sunchoke plant will give you anywhere between 50 and 100 tubers. On average for me is somewhere between 65 and 70. I feed the stems, the flower, and the root to the rabbits with no problems whatsoever. They love them and they grow so prolifically that it's cheap and easy free food. So yeah, I treat them like a potato, cook with them like a potato. Um, they hold their shape together more like a um, fingerling potato. So keep that in mind when you're gonna cook with them. And be aware that some people can't digest the inulin that's in them. Uh, it's not insulin, it's inulin. And it's, I, I think it's a type of enzyme and some people can digest it and some people can't. So uh, proceed with caution. And if it gives you gut pain, then it, it's rabbit food and only rabbit food for you. But I can digest them. So I use them as a potato when my potato stores run out. And I don't dig them up until early spring anyway. And I don't cover them, I don't anything. I just leave them in the ground until it, the, it starts to be nice out and I can get a pitchfork in the ground and I dig them out and start eating them and giving them to the animals and stuff, so. Okay, uh, those are sun chokes. Let me know if you guys grow them and what you think and recipes if you've got them, that would be helpful. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.